here we are with the new hex suppressor from Snark Mechanics. This is the 16 mil, as you see it on my Mark 23. And we're just gonna do a little comparison in length and weight to the offerings from Silverback. And we've also got the long hex suppressor and we'll show you why we have that later. So you might also see there's a, a carbon TAC 41. That's the current project that uh, we're working on a lightweight TAC. Anyway, I digress. So here we have the metal and the carbon from Silverback. And I've put them like this just so you can see the different lengths. I've also got the ruler there so we can uh, give you the measurements in millimetres. And we're also going to show you the weight of these as well because this is what's going to hang out the front of your pistol. So first off we have the metal from Silverback which is coming at about 170 but this does gain a gram as you'll see later on. So it's between 170 to 171 grams. Then we have the long 14 mil hex suppressor, and it's 152 grams. Then the carbon from Silverback, which is lighter than the metal, a little bit longer, it's 137 grams. And then we've got the 16 mil and the 14 mil uh, short hex, and the 16 mil is 109, and the 14 mil comes in at a gram heavier. I'm guessing that's just the extra material for the tire to a diameter on the thread. So just go back to show the difference between the, most, the two common, which is now 171 to 109. So it's a little bit of difference. I think it's the, the length, which is the, the biggest difference here. Um, now the hex is actually filled with the stepped foam baffles which are in this truth form hexagonal fashion as you see here we're also trying out a new way of showing things so i've got a second camera set up to show you here you can see the hexagonal design that's also in the uh in the long hex suppressor as well there is a video done by hadrian designs showing the uh difference in sound I've not done a decibel reading on this but these are quite the hex is quieter than the standard TM suppressor and the stepped foam baffles just work as you can see with the silverback suppressor this is the carbon which has the same um, baffles in the metal but you have one big one small and it just carries it that way down all the way down the suppressor it's just a very effective way of suppressing the sound We'll also see the uh, difference in diameter. So the hex has been produced so it doesn't block the iron sights on the Mark 23. The Silverback does, but some people do prefer a bigger can on their gun. I still, I like both. I'm kind of sitting on the fence here. I like them for their own different reasons. Um, and just to show you the length as well. So the, the short hex comes in at around 103 millimeters that's half roughly half of the standard tm suppressor length the silverback metal as you can see is 159 and then we've got the other two here as well so we've got the silverback carbon and the long hex so as we described earlier the hex doesn't obscure the iron sights on the mark 23 as I'm trying to show here quite badly but eventually we get it. there you go you can see you can see the iron sights past the suppressor as well so then finally the reason that we've got the long hex out because you wouldn't put a uh, really put a long hex on your mark 23 I don't think you're gonna make much difference in the sound suppression that the short is already offering but the long has been developed so it can fit inside the handguard of the SRS and other handguards as well. So here's one I built earlier. And you can see it's fitting nicely inside there. This is a A1 with a G-spec in a barrel. And just to show you it going through there. And obviously as it's a working suppressor, it's gonna be interesting to try this out once I've got this rifle fully built to my specification. But more on that later on. Thank you for watching.